I try to use tablets in a sort of creative way. I tend to make uh, e-books uh, for uh, as, as a, a review of uh, what uh, students done in uh, their classroom. I think this is a very nice uh, step to um, 21st century skills. Uh, and uh, in this, uh, people, uh, pupils are um, creating something. So these materials are their own and they can share them, they can use them 24 hours a day and uh, they can be proud of them. First thing of pedagogy, of education. Um, with, with my colleagues, we discussed a lot about the difference between outcomes and outputs. If you want a nice product, it's very easy to make that with, uh, with tablets and with, with uh, multimedia. Um, but first of all, you should have to, to look, uh, you should look at um, the process, the learning process of the, stu of the students. For example, yesterday I was in a classroom where, they, uh, where the pupils had to program a joke with Scratch. They made wonderful things, but at the end, fortunately, the, teachers, uh, the teacher asked them, how did you do it? Please plan your product, have a look at the techniques, test the program and uh, have a look if, they, if, if uh, something goes wrong and correct it. That's programming. It's very easy to make a joke in with Scratch, but fortunately that teacher asked uh, his pupils, please reflect on what you're doing. And so they learned. Yes, we had schools working on the content creation scenarios. We, we see that, uh, we saw that um, most of them produce uh, lots of different kinds of content, be it uh, an e-book or a PDF or a more interactive uh, uh, digital content. But what's really important to notice, apart from the product, is th that the role of the student was really um, important because students were actively engaged in the production of this content. That's uh, the real important thing. Something like um, show me or education or explain everything where they can explain what they've learned um, so they become the teacher and then I can use those videos perhaps to give them to other children because sometimes I explain something and I think it seems so obvious why aren't you not getting this and then another child says no you just need to do this and this and this and they're like okay it's that simple couldn't you tell me that if you are thinking about a topic don't choose it yourself as a teacher, but let it to the children. You can bring different areas or something uh, and they can choose from them, but uh, let, let the children to be the teachers. A big finding from my study was the, the creativity of the pupils um, and the actual uh, upskilling that they needed with certain apps for that creativity and, and to you know to, to really look at things a bit differently rather than just uh, um, pulling out a PowerPoint presentation or a keynote. Uh, out of the 20 um, I, I got 10 PowerPoint and keynote presentations and the other 10 used a bit more creativity so that's something I, I need to look at whether that's um, the term beforehand or the year beforehand like we can do that maybe in the year beforehand and kind of upskill them um, and get that real creativity with, with, with our pupils. I think that, that's a definite finding that I, that from my group that I came out with. Um, I maybe just expected them to be a bit more creative than they were. So talking about apps, um, what we've done is um, I, our IT coordinator firstly put on 150 apps, which was too much. That's when I uh, erased all the devices and talked about teachers what are you doing? How are you teaching? And then we came up with more or less eight um, apps. One for creating a video. It could be an iMovie or a movie editor or a Magisto, depending on, on where you're working on. Um, one for um, recording audio. I like GarageBand because it has 
um, additional um, audio in there and, and smart instruments, things like that. Um, Book Creator is a nice one for creating ebooks and books again with audio, text, images, video in it. You can make your own drawings in it. So I can give children a lot of opportunities. They don't need to take all the opportunities, but again, they're in there.